the, uh, mm -hmm. the agenda for the regular board meeting today, January 10th, uh, 2023, the first meeting of the year. At this time, I will ask the clerk to call the roll. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any approvals or corrections of the minutes that were held on the board meeting of November 22nd, 2022? Any correction to be made to the minutes? If we have no correction to make, then I will ask for motions to approve the minutes for November 22nd, 2022. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the motion December 13th meeting. We need a second, please. Second. Second of Trustee Rich. Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Hodges. Garcia, yes. Trustee Greer, yes. Trustee Richardson, yes. Trustee Paper, yes. Motion Thank you very much. Uh, before we open the uh, section uh, to the public, if you would uh, stand up and give us your name, your reason for addressing the board. Try to keep your comments to three minutes, please. Uh, at this time, I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. Make a motion to open the meeting to the public. There's a motion to by Trustee Claybrook. Can we have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Richardson. Would the clerk take the motion? Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Hodges. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Yes. Trustee Greer. Yes. Trustee Richardson. Yes. Trustee Claybrook. Yes. Okay, motion passed. The meeting is now open to the public for public comment. Does anyone want to speak on the public? Hey, my name is John Hyduke. Um, first thing I want to see is Trustee Garcia. Last meeting I was here about a month ago. Uh, I brought up your your stairs in uh, the front of your house there, and you said you had a right to make repairs and improvements to your house, and I got no problem with that at all. But my first thought when I saw it, and I was the one that pointed it out to some of the residents, that my first thought is you got Burnham to pay for the parking lot across the street from you, and now this. And oh I, my that's. God. Really? Can I? <laughs> I can't. You can. Well, if you want to be really upfront with us. It happened to be the same time that they were making concrete repairs in Burnham. You know all that. If you want to be an upfront trustee, this shouldn't be too hard to do. You should have had the, re the invoice and uh, all from the concrete company that you paid for. If you showed it to me, you'll never hear a word from me about that again. I didn't show you. I thought it's my open personal, to the public. My personal business. I, I didn't expect you to. That's fine. Uh, trustee Richardson, back in September or so, you said that Hammond was raising our water rates. So you can look, uh, look forward to uh, increasing our rates or whatever. Uh, Mr. Polk also suggested that the rates are gonna be going up. I'm just asking you, uh, what and when, how much will they be going up? If you can answer me after I get done speaking, please. And Mr. Polk, last meeting I was here, you complained and made fun of me about every time I come in here, I ask the same question over and over and over again. Well, you got me thinking, I've been coming here for five solid years now off and on. I'm all about the finances. You know that and everybody up on the board here knows that. Still, after five years, I'm asking you again tonight, maybe you could share with everybody that's here. Where, numerically speaking, you've been saying, we're doing good, we're doing better, we're doing the best we ever have. Numerically speaking, where, where is our, not our budget, but where are we standing financially? What's our checkbook balance? You can either answer that or you could go ahead and make fun of me again, sir. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? Are there any other public comments? I will ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make a motion to close the meeting to the public. There's a motion to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Clayton. Will the clerk take your roll? Trustee Camp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. 
Trustee Garcia, yes. Um, Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. I think the motion passed. The meeting is now closed to the public. Um, I mean, for the record, again, I will state very clearly, very distinctively, that that um, uh, that parking space over there on 138th Street didn't have anything to do with the trustees, the clerk, or anybody else. That decision was made by myself exclusively because people have been complaining for years I mean, down there in that area that they didn't have any place to park. And I just kind of made the decision I mean, after speaking to the board, but the board did not convince me. The board did not I mean, suggest that I do that in any way. So that was pretty much a decision that was made administratively from the top and not any place in between. Now, as far as the for the water rate goes, <clears throat> I don't think the trust. I mean, I don't remember Trustee Richardson saying that the rates were going to go up. I did say. No, she didn't. She didn't. Okay. I didn't. I did say that the rates. She said Hammond is raising the rates. Right. The water. Yes. Uh, okay. yes. And that is yes. And that's true. Um, at some point, the rates will go up again. Can you say when? Well, there's no plan for it this year. There's no plan for it next year. So. So there won't be no rate increase next year. I mean, that is correct. Correct. Will there be any kind of sewer rate, anything concerning water or sewer, anything going up on our water bills? No. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, because you had suggested the last meeting it was here that it would be. Well, that's you just didn't of, know in the future. If it's not going to be next year, good. No. It also well, has what happens to Chicago rates. So um, if Chicago's go up a bunch, we'll have to raise our... <clears throat> we probably would be okay. I, mean, I would think we would be okay. And I also said that uh, probably in February, that we're going to begin to show some of the expenditures that we have to spend on the sewers and the repairs that we have to make. You know, we will open that process up. And, uh, See, in fairness to us, you said you always say that you budget enough money for the sidewalk, and you always you can't finish the sidewalks, side streets, and everything. Every year we've been hearing that. At the same time, that parking lot costs thousands. How did you find the money to do that? Where everybody in Burnham still needs sidewalks. That's my whole point. You well, can never the finish the repairs on the sidewalks and you put the parking lot in there. I mean, the, I mean, the sidewalk repairs and that repair are from two different appropriations. Well, it shouldn't be. Yeah, but it has to be. That's way. It's car related. That's way it's it's part of the street. That's the way it's mandated. It's not easy. It it motor, can't be paid for by the old motor fuel. You system. never presented it before the board, even. That's my whole point. Never I mean, was. I've been keeping an eye on this. Wait a minute, this is not true. Go ahead. I mean, once the board approved the appropriation for the MFT funds, I mean, no further improvement is needed. So if the board approved, uh, I mean, $20,000 or $25,000 for a line item under the MFT banner and under the MFT umbrella, then, it's, I mean, it's not necessary to go back to the board and not to dip into it. As long as we don't go over that allotment, I mean, then that's fine. It does not need second board approval. The board already approved it. That just didn't look good, that's what I'm saying. We're hearing all the time. I have potholes in my street in front of my house. Well, was, They're this deep. Well, That's just uh, my house. There's all over the place because of the winter and all. But we did put in a grant for, uh, for Green Bay. We did not receive it this year. I mean, last year. And so hopefully this year we'll have better luck. <coughs> and if we do, we'll take care of it. And we've also done some street patching. We did some on Mackinac. We did some on Green Bay on the south end. I believe we did some on 140, which is the north end of here. And we did some on 141st block. <coughs> The 141st, okay. Yeah. And uh, but we're working on it. We're working on it. And uh, like I've said several times before, if I tell you something, then you got my word on it. Mm -hmm. So now you may not agree with me or us on certain other <coughs> things, but but you don't have a phony operation phony people. Where do we stand financially? I could answer that question. We have about 12 different bank accounts. So no, 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 no. It would be really hard for us to show you the balance of one account. See, the audit is supposed to be the official financial condition of any But the audit is not a weekly audit. It's a yearly audit. It, it, they take 12 accounts. You're the finance chairman. Can you tell us tonight? We're telling you that we have 12 accounts. Where do we stand? Come so by them all, John. To, we'd have to do John, a balance of... be simple to, with me. We're in good shape. We'd have to do a balance what does that of 12 mean? accounts and say, this account's a little low this month. This account's a little high. This one got a check from the taxes. See, I'm simple. I've year. been coming here five years. You've got six million in the hole one year. You got two million three. I'm asking for a number, and you would still nobody up here. You two ladies are in the finance committee. You gave me a website one time when I asked for it. I'm just looking for a number. That's all I am as a resident. I mean, we have explained. We 
tried to explain. That See, you're going to make fun of me again now. I'm not making fun of you. Why don't you know where we are? So what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to explain to you, the six million, the twelve million, whatever you talked about, that is not I an mean, actual dollar. That is actual area. That is part of the police pension plan. The auditor feels that's part of our money. Yeah, because they have to put it in there. Well, they're they're your source of. I mean, because the state law changed and said now that they have to add that in. I mean, at one time we didn't have to add that. I mean, but now we do because they changed the law back in 2000. See, you've gotten to know me. I've been fair. Mr. Polk, when you took over, the audit said we had a $1.2 million surplus. I'm going by the audit on I'm both. I'm telling you right now, I'm trying to explain to you that in 2016, they changed the law in Springfield, and they said that the police pension appropriation and those funds, that have to be calculated into the village's finances. It was part of the finances in 05. I saw the audit. Say this, you gave me the audit. <clears throat> So you, you won't give me a number I mean, then? I'm you, asking for a number as well. I mean, if you were the full, I mean, if Officer Coop was a full-time police officer, he was full-time. And so he's an older man, just like I am a little bit older. And so if he married a lady that was 25 years old, then the police pension fund would have to project over the next 50 years that she might live. And they got to put the money in there for her. I mean, with her life expectancy, I mean, plus the 3% cost increases every year. And those things drive up the deficit. I mean, it drives it up. And also, the policemen that work here for a period of time, if they work here for five years or 10 years or whatever it is, and then they decide to leave and go to another town because they want to make more money, I mean, those pension funds have to be thrown down now, and they're taken out the account. And because they take them out the account, then that makes those actuaries go higher. I mean, because there's less money there. Now. Do you know where you stand financially, personally? You know what your checkbook balance is in your checkbook? Okay, so are there any you're, you're questions? running our money, is what I'm saying. You won't tell us what's going on. I told you it's 12 accounts. <laughs> I'm not, John. John, I'm okay. talking to the mayor. Okay, so you won't tell us. I, 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 for the public. I mean, we're gonna move on. Well, and, and you know what, and I, uh -oh, I'm just getting tired of people talking about my, my damn stairs. I have a right to make repairs to my house. I paid for those. It was just a coincidence that it happened while they were working, you know, we were working on the sidewalk. Do you really think I would be stupid enough to use? I don't know. Well, then that you have a problem. I right? think you, you got really enough think, guts. You know, oh yeah, right. There's no one here. You're right. I, 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 I like. I do not like to be behind bars. Yeah, that much no, I can tell you. But you're using those stairs <coughs> without railings, and you're in charge of the department. How do yeah, you, you do that? Have you driven by like if you're uh, twice a day that you drive by and check on everything because you have nothing better to do? No, it's not us. You should be thanking me for watching the village and keeping an eye on what's going on. But you don't need to drive by twice a day. Ask the mayor how many texts that I send him about the village the meeting. Sure. Mr. Polk, see, my problem with the railing, a couple houses down from me, they had a swimming pool about two or three years ago. Somebody from the village made them take that pool down because it had no railing or no fencing. She was required to abide by the code, and yet the trustees aren't. They're held to a different standard. Okay, well, let me say this I'm being fair. We're going to move on. Sure. I mean, we gave you extra time tonight. But you still haven't answered me. We gave you extra time tonight, so we are not, uh, uh, I mean, I did not shut you. I mean, uh, with the three minutes, you went over three minutes, you probably talked five or six No, minutes. thank you for that. And uh, so, um, so we are trying to be as cooperative and supportive <laughs> as we can of the thing that you're asking of us, but sometimes we give you answers and you don't accept them. You're just spending an awful lot of money in Burnham, and I just asked where me, we are, and you don't know. And let me say, and let me say that um, that I am not I'm going to do anything that's going to cause me to go to Minnesota or wherever that jail is. It's not right, going to happen. Exactly. It's not going to happen. <coughs> now, some people would like for me to, I mean, to get in trouble, but I'm a little bit smarter than that. And I'm from Mississippi, and we didn't go like that. I thank you very much. Mayor, is it fair for Public Works to plow that to plow that parking spot in front of? Mrs. Chavez and Mrs. Uh, I'm sorry? Garcia's house. Is it fair for Public Works to plow in front of that uh, parking lot that was put in front of Mrs. Chavez and Mrs. Uh, Garcia's home? Well, if it was put there by the village, if it was put there by the village, I mean, it's village property. The parkway actually belongs to the village, technically. So but wouldn't that mean, in sense, that you would have to do everybody that's got asphalt in the parkway? Like Mr. Petrich and I've got a concrete parking spot in front of my house. So wouldn't you have to do everybody? Does that only hold true for trustees and clerks? I believe Mr. Petrich's parkway is part of the state of Illinois, I believe. 
No, oh, that's on 130 <laughs> seconds. It's not that front. I'm talking about so right across from my own. How do you justify well, it, that? I mean, well, if it needs um, if it needs plowing, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Plowing. Will you do my driveway too? You the know, concrete path? I think you can take care of your own, but the perfect is old. <laughs> I'm old too. I can barely walk. You see me walking with a cane. I can't walk. And who knows? We might decide to bless you one day. We don't have. To, we don't discriminate. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'll look forward to that. So in the mayor's report, uh, I would like to say that uh, again we haven't had much snow this season, but we are asking if the people would uh, uh, if they would uh, move your your inoperable vehicles off the street so we can get access to the street so we can clean them. And, um, and later this month, we're gonna have a community meeting that'll be at the community center and you will have more time, some people will have more time to you know, answer your questions and defend out. I mean, but again, we're not gonna tell you something that you just wanna hear if it's not true. And, uh, and I will not, let me tell something that's not true. I mean, just to please somebody. If I tell you something, that's okay, you got my word on it. Um, and also, we ask the people if you would help us to keep the community clean. I see a lot of trash and stuff up and down the street. The general public works is always clean enough, so if you would clean up the parkway right in front of your house. That wouldn't upset us too much at all, so we appreciate that. Uh, the clerk is not here, uh, so we're going to move on. Uh, public works and building. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming out this evening. I, um, there were 180 new laws passed in the state of Illinois, and I, I would just uh, list uh, announce a few here. House Bill number 3772. There will be no cars for ch uh, car checking victims. Uh, the, the, there will be no car, I'm sorry, there will be no fees for uh, car jacking victims' cars. They will not be on the hook for tickets, but they get a ticket if your car was uh, car jacked and there was some uh, damages that accumulated, you, you will not be on the hook for the ticket. Senate Bill 3120. Ladies can have time off. If they have a miscarriage, they can receive 10 days off, but it will be unpaid leave. Senate Bill 3667. Electronic order of protection. To better protect survivors, this law allows anyone to file for a protective order at any time, you can do it by email or you can do it online. But if you care to go in person, that's your option. But again, it's electronic order of protection. Senate Bill 3616, to combat discrimination in the workplace. Traits associated in race, such as hair textures and hairstyles, such as uh, braids, locks, or twists. There shall be no discrimination with the with the hair that that is called to combat discrimination in the workplace house bill 5254 this law re requires your health insurance plan to cover medically necessary hormone therapy treatment for uh, such as hysterectomy so that's called helping hand afford affordable uh, treatment and House Bill 5304, registration to, uh, for your vehicle, for seniors. Seniors vehicle registration. This law reduces the uh, vehicle registration for seniors from $24 now to $10. But anyone that wants, and I just got a call about this the other day, anyone that wants to have, um, have this benefit, you have to first contact um, Secretary of State, and then there's a, a, a process to follow. But again, the fees will, uh, will be reduced from $24 to $10. Amazon will has announced they will be doing job cuts. I know a lot of our community members have jobs at Amazon, 
and McDonald's also announced they will be doing some job uh, cuts soon. Just a reminder to everyone that Thornton Township Transportation operates on a curb-to-curb -curb service for seniors 60 years of age and older. If anyone would like to know more about intellectual disability services, and there are some wonderful services out there for the uh, intellectual disability, leave your name with um, our personnel at the office, and I will get back with you with some very important information. Is there, I don't know if anyone, everyone knows, Reverend James Meek and a lot of our community members belong to Salem Baptist Church. His last sermon was last Sunday. He had been a minister for over 40 years, and it was one of the largest black churches in the city of Chicago. You think I'm getting there? <laughs> uh, think a bit too late. <laughs> Fisher Price has recalled its rock and play sleepers. There have been over 100 infant deaths. So uh, with this Fisher Price rock and play sleepers. And I just like to leave it. This is again Happy New Year to each and every one. And I would like to leave just a few positive words for the new year. Number one, do the best that you can. Two, do what you can with what you have where you are. Number three, it's never too late to be what you might have been. And number four, if you can dream it, you can do it. List one uh, small positive thought in the morning. It can change your whole day. And last, always, always find the opportunity to make someone smile. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve on the hire of Elias Capels for the Public Works Department. Capels now this would be um, on the effective back to December 14th. Uh, for the we did approve him once before though. Yeah. I know that that but we actually didn't know the I make a motion of taking action to approve on the hire of Elias Capels for the Public Works Department. Okay, any questions from the board? Trustee Pebbles has made a motion to hire Capels. Do you have a second? Second. Trustee Pebbles, please take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes.
So the goal of our services is not to cost the village any more money, it's to basically make money that's already on the table by insurance companies. So every time they respond to an accident, um, or if they have to respond to a structure fire, where the services are already being utilized now, uh, the goal is just to bill insurances, not to balance bill residents for anything, so there's no cost to the village residents. Um, it truly is just a smart move to make for any village. Um, a lot of the surrounding towns are already currently doing it. Uh, it's not gonna make, um, it's, it's not gonna make the village tons of money. That's, that's never the goal of this. Um, the services provided will just basically be uh, paid uh, the amounts that are on the ordinance and um, like I said, insurance companies only. So um, if anyone has any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Sure. What's your name again? Laura Daly. Anyone have any questions? No questions. Okay. What kind of, what kind of insurance? Is it the homeowner's uh, insurance? Sir, or the it's the board to ask the question. Yeah, I realize. Well, I do, but you should be asking some questions. Come on. Yeah. Okay, I thank you. I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave, but it behooves me. <coughs> They have no okay, questions um, for the lady who comes this time you can see for the crazy. I know. Yeah, or what are they discussing? The we have the baby. Yeah, they're discussing behind the door. Yeah, they're 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 an ordinance I establishing and adopting fees to be charged for fire rescue and fire department services provided by the village of Burnham. Fire department by amending and adding Article 6, fire rescue and fire department services fees. Chapter 38, Fire Prevention and Protection of the Code of Ordinances, Village of Burnham. Okay, so they have a, a motion on the floor by Trustee Garcia to approve this ordinance. That's the fee. So, could we have a second, please? Well, first of all, the board doesn't have a second, so we have a second, please? I'll second. Second by Trustee Cap. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia, yes. Trustee Greer, Bang. Trustee Richardson, yes. Trustee Kelly Brooks, yes. Motion passed, thank you. Let's see. Discussion on consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve on the new liquor application by Mira's Gaming Cafe, LLC, a gaming cafe establishment. The location would be 13755 Burnham Avenue, Unit E, Burnham, Illinois. This uh, property has been uh, vacant for about 12 or 13 years, so it's uh, good to see uh, some new development there, getting online, so that would help to uh, support the tax base and whatnot, so, um, uh, so I think it would be a good positive thing for the village of uh, Would you like to say anything? No, I'd like to thank everybody in the village. Really, it, it took a long time for me to finish that building, uh, going through the uh, crash time and uh, then some other problems uh, from the uh, wetland behind us. Then the corona came, but uh, thanks God, you know, finally the building is finished and it's ready now to produce and uh, employ a lot of people from uh, uh, the village of Burnham. We're gonna make sure that everybody's gonna be working there from the village. Thank you, uh, the support. Of the one the first one we did the ground breaking, that was in 2007. Yeah, yeah, it took me a long time and a lot of losses with taxes paid every year. So I appreciate, you know, your patience, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, Do I have any questions? So this, um, <coughs> this is one of the, of the buildings, right? This is just from one of them? Uh, units. One of the units? One of the units, yeah. And, and that's going to be yours, your business. Yeah, it's going to be my business. And then the other ones are probably going to have other different... But they are tenants, and uh, today I received... Uh, we have Domino's Pizza, the mayor knows, they are working. The the yeah. yeah. the there is a the convenience store also. And today uh, I had I had uh, a credit application from a flower shop that they want to come there with urban place. And um, I'm working with a, a guy who owns like three restaurants, real estate and hamburgers. So I might really do it there too. So uh, I am concentrating on getting retail stuff, mostly there. Um, you know, so it's probably a little chance that you'll be able to get a Jimmy Don, right? Hopefully, I, I already sent it, I already emailed it. Okay, that, that, that was my question. I was just... Okay, so I make a motion. 
application to approve uh, the liquor application, the liquor license application by Murales Gaming Cafe, a gaming cafe establishment located at 13755 Burnham Avenue. So you made the motion, Trustee Garcia? Yes. So can we have a second?
consideration of and taking action on the renewal of workmen's compensation insurance premium policy period of January 1st of 23 through January 1st 24 of the technology insurance company for the total annual amount of $121,128 last year's annual premium was $79,070 so I'd like to make a, a motion to approve the renewal of the workman's <coughs> comp insurance premium policy for 1123 to 1124 of the technology insurance company for the total annual amount of $121,128. Okay, there's a motion on the floor to approve the working comp insurance. The motion is made by Trustee Caps. Do we have a second, please? A second. A second by Trustee Clayton. Trustee Caps? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayford? Yes. Motion. Motion paper, please, Trustee Captain. Discussion of and consideration of the taking action on the Village of Burnham insurance liability renewals with totals of $387,385 and the authorization of the Village of, uh, of Village Clerk to sign said insurance renewal in agreement. Last year's premium was $372,434. So I will read all the different companies. Oh. So I'd like to make a motion that we uh, renew the insurance um, renewals and have the village clerk sign the insurance renewal and agreement. So there's a motion on floor by Trustee Cap to approve the Village of Burnham liability renewal for three hundred and eighty seven thousand three hundred and eighty five dollars. A second. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayford. Yes. Okay, so the companies that uh, make up that amount. The first one is Hudson Insurance. They're $117,833. They provide the property, crime, inland, marine, and general automotive liability. The next company is QBE Specialty Insurance. That's $72,349. They provide law enforcement. Greenwich Insurance is $74,287. They cover the public officials, the DNO, and the EPLI. The last one is the Kinsale Insurance, which is the excess liability. That one's $53,862. And the last one is the Cyber Liability. That's uh, Traveler's Casualty. That's $6,944. The total was $387,385. Uh, yeah, thank you. Now, very thing that the village spend the taxpayer money on the things that are necessary that we have to do to keep the village running. We got to keep the employed. The insurance paid for different things. So, I, I could, since I have whatever. It, it just went up a little bit. Some went up, some went down. Just some balance and add. So discussion of consideration of and taking action on authorizing the payment of this month's bills. So I'd like to make a motion to authorize the payment of this month's bills. So there's a motion on the floor by Trustee Cap to pay the bill for this month. Can we have a second, please? Second. A second by Trustee Trustee Rich. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee yes. Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayford? Yes. Oh, just getting tired of seeing yes. Motion passed, thank you. Is that it, Trustee Campbell? Yeah, that's all I have, thank you. Uh, public utilities, Trustee Richardson. Good evening. Good evening. And Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you. Um, on the 21st of January, from 12 to 4, we'll be hosting our annual or monthly COVID-19 vaccination <laughs> clinic. There will also be uh, 
So in assisting those that need help with uh, electric, gas, and water, which is up under FIDA, so you can come Saturday the 21st here at the Village Hall between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. and uh, fill out the necessary paperwork for assistance if you need it. Check what, what is the time? 12 to 4. And it's going to be here? Yes. Yeah. And that's it. Thank you, Trustee Richard, for that report and your information. For Park and Recreation, Trustee Hodges. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for your report and that information. Are there any presentation or petition? Communication in the memorial of that month? I would like for a moment of silence. We had two deaths this week in the village of Burnham, two deaths. Okay, thank you. Is there any unfinished business? New business, um, we have to, um, before we make the motion, we have to go into executive session. And so when we have to go into executive session, if it's uh, a discipline of employees, or terminating employees, or dealing with any type of litigation, or anything of that kind, we have to go into executive session, which means that we have to go in the back. If you wish to stay here until we come out, and, and we'll talk to you once we get back out and we resume the meeting, so that now, make a motion to go into executive session so we have to leave this room and go in the back. Should we do that first item first though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Meeting. Not, not close it for that. Move to go to the executive session. Then we have to take minutes to do the executive session. So I'd like to make a motion that we go into executive session at this time. I'll second it. Second by Trustee Cap with a clerk take the roll. Yes. yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Yes. Have a good night, Justin. Okay.